What's up, everybody? It's your favorite one eye Willie's favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the Bingo Toys. What is this thing's name? Hold on. Hold on. Wave Man. What a bozo name. Anyway, this is on loan to me from Robert D. I'm not 100% sure why he bought this. Doesn't seem like it's up his alley. I believe this is the Shockwave representation from the Bumblebee movie, the intro. Not crazy about the designs. What? Even the Bumblebee movie intro? Yes, even the Bumblebee movie intro. It's okay. I know a lot of people do. But I can also objectively look at it and say, huh, looks just like it should. That being said, we're going to take a look at this guy, but in order to do so, we got to look at accessories. Of course, he comes with his signature firearm. And it's painted delightfully. You know, uh, I don't even know this. Delightfully? Yeah, I think so, right? I don't know. If not, forgive me. Uh, these pieces come out. We'll show how this all kind of works here later on. They're magnetized, which is nice. Uh, deco the same way, which we'll talk about when we get to the figure. Works well enough. Take the arm and untab this piece here. Fist up the hand. Swing it around. This comes back down and exposes your tab or your peg. And that will line up with this. You have this little circle piece here. If you can see, if we can focus. That will go into this groove here. And then the peg will correspond to the female end on uh, the gun itself. And you can even open these up if you'd like to try to get a better, uh, I guess you can. not But it's a tight peg, so not the best. He also comes with a spring. There's no paint on it, so you shouldn't have to worry about the problems that the Takara had. Uh, and it's, you know, good distance. You want to plug one in here to the peg on his back, and you can do it on either side. And then the corresponding one is on the other side of the barrel, and now you've got him in service. All right, and then we have a Matrix as well. For what reason? Who knows? But it is silver and gold, silver and gold, with a dark wash on top of the silver and gold. I gave you a little, a little extra sauce on it this time. Um, with a little translucent piece in the middle. Uh, yeah, it's fine, who cares? You can even store it by opening up the chest and dropping it down in there and then closing it back up. Uh, once again, who cares? And it comes with an electronics gimmick as well. Um, I'll be honest with you. And it comes with an electronics gimmick as well. Uh, if you take one of your magnets, a lot of the stuff with the magnets has been going on recently, and drag it across here, it's supposed to activate the light inside if you have the batteries installed. I don't have the batteries installed, so you won't see it, but uh, it lights the eye up and it looks dead without it. So poor choice in my opinion. All right, so let's look at the figure. We'll start with the head sculpt. Um, it's a big head, like <clears throat> proportionally, so to speak, but I think it's also true to the design. It's on a ball peg. It's painted fully uh, to include weathering, and that is consistent throughout. And then we have the silver paint in there, and then, of course, the translucent for the eye. It's a it's a double ball peg, basically, but it's not a double ball peg. It's like a double ball joint. Um, so it's just two balls on top of each other, so to speak. Anyway, you can get the head up to there, down to there, so not much. Swivel, confused shockwave look a little bit. And then the ears do move. You can kind of angle them as you see fit. Your call. These vents here also can move around a bit, uh, just as an FYI. They're also painted and weathered for what it is worth. Shoulders. All right, so we have a hinge inside the body. It comes out to a disc hinge outside the body. This piece independently moves so it can get out of the way in order to get the arm way past 90 degrees. It also gets the swivel around. All on tension joints, all fully painted to include the inside of the plastic, which is a nice touch. We have a double-jointed elbow that gets you a little bit past 90 degrees, as well as a bicep swivel. And once again, this piece is connected to it, so it gets right out of the way. Fully painted, gold accents, silver accents. We have weathering on the purple and more silver paint down in the forearm. Nicely done. The wrist swivel, the fingers are independently uh, articulated. At a primary, at the primary knuckle, and then secondary knuckle, and then tertiary knuckle. So fully articulated fingers, and then the thumb is also on a ball peg that comes out to a secondary knuckle. <clears throat> what more could you ask for? Am I right? Moving on to this part, nice uh, gunmetal paint, a lot of intricate sculpt work, a lot of weathering, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Waist swivel, ab crunch. 
and the joint fills in. Also nice. Look at all that back detail. Looks good. No issues there. This arm is obviously the same as the other. Yeah, I quite like that. All right, for the hips, we can back out a little bit now. We have hip skirts. They get up and out of the way. For our universals. Now, our universals are attached to this piece, which is on a swivel, so it can move about to give you a little bit more freedom. Um, not necessarily a ton. The problem is working this sculpt of the thigh around it but as you can see it is doable and gets you out to there so just shy of the full monty or full of van dam just shy of the full monty but a ton of range more than you'll probably need anyway looks good thigh swivel very limited uh mainly due to the sculpt work that gets around beats around the joints nice weathering down here on the white silvers coppers it's really 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 well painted and then we have a double jointed knee. The single joint is down here at the bottom. The double joint is fully sculpted and wraps around to the top for the full run. So no issues there. Lower legs look great as well for the ankles. Not really an ankle tilt down a little bit, maybe a little bit of an ankle tilt up, a toe tilt up and a rocker. So pretty well articulated across the board. Big old robot. Honestly, like it feels like the hot, like a hot toys feels like a one six figure. Let's get this guy transformed. So we've already shown you how to get the fist away. So we'll just go ahead and do that here for the other side. Tucked in, we'll close that up. The chest, we showed you how to open that for the matrix. Go ahead and put his ears down and then stuff his head inside of his chest cavity and then you can close this back up. On the back here, take these back pieces, unpeg them, bring them around, and peg them back in utilizing this peg here and that port there. And you have to kind of bend plastic against plastic, which as you know, I'm not a huge fan of. That's a, a tolerance clearance issue. There you go. Now I tend to find these like waist you know, guards here kind of obnoxious, so let's let's get those out of play. If we turn the waist around 180 and we take these and spin them around using that female and that male, we can peg them in and secure them. And even that, it's like me. There. And then on the front, if we move the hips all the way up, get these up. Then these can peg into the front of the hips. All right. Or the back of the hips, rather. Okay. So then we'll do these shoulders. Open this up. Open this up. Spin around. Put these pieces down and bring this up and then you have a female there that's gonna tab in to this uh, piece here. It's just hard for me to see with the camera in front of my way. There we go. And same for the other side. Spin at the bicep, move them up. And we're gonna just go ahead and secure that as well there all right we need to do a little bit of prep work on the legs so it's this piece here that you have to open up and it's just a matter of finding it and then splitting these pieces in half swing this to the opposite side and then swing the foot the same way. And what you're looking to do is rotate the foot so that this port here will line up with that peg. So this can be a little tricky. 
just because there's a number of moving pieces. This shouldn't be this challenging. There. And then this piece, I think you're supposed to turn once again. Tolerance is off. Second leg, we're gonna open up here. And once again, split. Lose my temper. All right, and then this folds all the way around, lines back up with the initial initial one, and tabs back together. There you go, and then on the back. Just like you had to undo, this piece will come up and tab back in to keep it together. So then you're supposed to bring this piece over and this piece over and sandwich this peg onto there. But I gotta tell you, it like it just doesn't work nicely. Um, this company has a long way to go. Bingo, man. You gotta relax. Um, so I'll get that sorted out and then we'll come back. At which point you're supposed to take this piece and tab that in, but I mean, mine's not lining up quite right. I'm sure I got something wrong, but I don't wanna break this thing. I'll try one last time. There, I think I, oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with it anymore, sorry. All right, then take this. You got two pegs here. Peg them into the inside of the forearms. And then bring these pieces down and peg them onto the sides. And we're done. And not soon enough. So I'll clean it up, we'll take a look at it. And there it is. Uh, I mean, it works, but this company has a long way to go. Their novice inexperience shows like a bad poker face. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it does it right. It does the trick. You know, I don't know, dude. Like I would never go to this mode. It's frustrating. All of, it's the engineering of the legs that's frustrating, really. Um, the tolerances and clearances aren't quite right. Plus trying to get, oh, you know what? I can't, sorry, I can't. I have, my patience has had it. There it is with Tiger Tracks. If this, if this was mine, I'd throw it against the wall. It's a piece of shit masquerading as something serious. And it's not, it's a joke. Hate to say it. It's a hands maiden wearing an emperor's cloak. Final thoughts. Final thoughts wise, let's start with the negatives. It doesn't know what to do. It doesn't know how to do it. It doesn't know what it wants to be. It doesn't know how to be anything it's not. It's confused. And now so am I. And hopefully so are you so we can all be on the same page. It wants to fit in with your three zero line. But let me tell you something. This is three divided by zero. This is three times zero. This is a far cry from three zero. And having just looked at a three zero piece before this I can tell you get out of the way that's all you're doing is standing in the way of a company that actually knows what they're doing get out of the way you got a factory make toilet bowl seats or something do something useful the tolerance on it are awful the clearances on it are awful the materials don't feel great the build is dodgy the big robot with not a ratchet in sight but don't worry you've got stress on plastic from over tightened screws keeping it all together you got accessories that don't make any sense and a transformation that makes X trans bots or fans toys work First, most complicated offerings seem like pumpkin pie. How much is this? 140 to 190 bucks is what I'm seeing price tags. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. If you're into this line and you're into this scale, just pray that 3-0 does something proper that looks good and feels good and is built well. I applaud them for trying to make it transform. I applaud the ambition. But what good is ambition if it ruins the experience? You don't know what you're doing. Get out of the way. <sighs>
I digress. That's not to say it's without positives, because it does have some positives. The sculpt work is tremendous. I don't like these designs. Often, when I talk poorly of figures from these franchises, people will blame it on me not liking the designs. Let me be the first to say it, that one of the best things going for this thing is the sculpt. It looks just like it should. And having not seen an alt mode, at least that I know of, maybe it's in, in some Art of Bumblebee book that I'll never and read. I think they did a pretty decent job interpreting an alt mode given the aesthetics as well. I think they've got the sculpt under control. In fact, I think they should focus more time on making really good action figures for this line and they'd probably have a hit or two on their hands. Because the other thing that they do extremely well is paint. This thing is painted beautifully. And there's enough sculpt work and paint work here that I think it could fool people into thinking it's good. It almost got me. But the more that you manipulate it, handle it, and become familiar with it, the more you start to see it for what it really is. A hand maiden wearing the queen's crown take it off get out of the way thanks for listening thanks for watching until next time take care